Hi there Taurians, thanks so much for tuning in. This is your forecast for the week June 9 through 15. I'm Astro Girl. Venus is the one good thing for you. It remains in your sign through pretty much the end of the month. Mercury remains out of phase pretty much through the end of the month too. So really tap into that Venus quality to looking good and you know looking good is the best revenge because no doubt you'll bump into an X that often happens when Mercury is retrograde. Added into the mix is Neptune, the planet of the underworld, the planet of the sea, the planet of our deepest darkest thoughts and dreams and subconscious which goes out of phase in Pisces, your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. It goes out of phase for five months. Now it joins Saturn, Pluto and Mercury out of phase right now. So that's four important planets all spinning backwards and not giving us a lot of support. So hence the economic turnaround that so many people are hoping for by mid-year might not happen until later in the year because of this. There's a lot you know, happening with people paying taxes. There's a lot happening in the US. They're really trying to, you know, Obama's really trying to get the economy going and creating jobs. I think there's going to be a bit of a stall in that with this cosmic energy, especially with Pluto going out of phase. It, makes us really look at things a bit more realistically. And for you, you may feel as if a friendship has come to an end, especially with the full moon late Thursday, early Friday the 13th. And this full moon is all about completion and it's about ending projects. And for you, transiting your eighth house of joint investments and projects, you may feel that, you know, you've help someone long enough or you've worked with someone long enough and you feel that the time has come for you to go your separate ways whether it's a business partnership whether it's something where you're working on a team with somebody and you feel they're not pulling their weight it's important that you stand up for yourself and you'll probably come to the realization once mercury moves direct to july 1st that things have got to change. Full moons, the energy and the impact and what the full moon is going to produce doesn't happen overnight. It often can take up to a month later. Keep in mind with Venus in your sign, filling your home with flowers and making things as beautiful as possible is your very right, as is getting your hair done, as is you know getting any little cosmetic things you might want done, your teeth cleaned or something like that. It's the perfect time to do it. Thanks for calling and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week, Taurus.